here in Cochrane, Georgia, on our way to Albany, Georgia, at probably the smallest Walmart I've ever been to, with an open trailer. But don't worry, it's not for us. It's for this guy right here. We're going to pick up a Humvee from GovPlanet.com. He bid on this online. I've really never known how this process goes, and I think you're kind of figuring it out as we go. So let's go see how we can get in a Humvee. Are you excited? I am a little bit excited. For anybody that doesn't know what GovPlanet is, it's an online auction site that auctions off a variety of items like heavy machinery and cars, but they are most infamously known for their military vehicles and surplus. This is our buddy Casey. He's a pilot. You may remember him from our Cherokee 6 video. He's done a ton of research on these Humvees and he finally decided to pull the trigger on one. And when he did, he invited us and of course we couldn't deny. I'm interested in the Humvees because the way the body looks, it's just such a cool, I've, ever since I was a kid, when, the, um, when they first released Humvees to the public, um, Way, I forget the year, but then uh, they started making the civilian version, which is the H1, and Arnold Schwarzenegger got one, and then it like blew up, and they couldn't. From that point, when he got one, it like brought that to the market, and ever since then, I, you know, have a picture of that and the Lamborghini Countach on my wall. But it's just that iconic truck that I've wanted since uh, they first got popular way back in the day. Look at all those Humvees. There she is, right in there. all of her glory. That's a hunk of shit, dude. Yep. They're all hunks of shit. Yeah, this is it. I can't wait to ride in this thing. This thing is So we got 73 miles on this bad boy. Bolt the armor on here, down across the bottom, uh, underneath, and then the doors. Some of these, if you look over there, you can see some of them that have not been demilitarized. There's a word, right. demilitarized. There's a dog tag in it. I mean, it's not somebody's. It's definitely meant for this, but that's pretty cool. No wonder he wants one of these. It looks like a freaking aircraft. <laughs> like, look at all these gauges, the way it's all set up. I mean, I definitely want one now, but it's pretty cool. Save your money. Save my money for something else I don't need. That's a good idea. Oh, I think you gotta grab. You gotta do a trucker style. <laughs> so after you win your auction online for your humvee you have a certain amount of time to pick it up it comes extremely bare bones with no batteries not a lot of information they have been completely stripped of all military related things like the armored doors and all of the armor around the vehicle but they do eventually send you a title which is pretty cool what no fire extinguisher This is uh, pretty exciting. Got it. I mean, it looks like a little Tonka toy right now because he just, you know, scoops it up. I'm really excited for Casey. I think I think he's gonna turn this into something really, really cool. And I'm just excited to see this one. That's pretty much, I guess you could say, stock military vehicle. Be cruising down the road because I know he's gonna get it running before. <laughs> before anything else happens. We've done a lot of really uh, nasty things to this trailer and really made it work for, for what we make it work for. So let's just pray it makes it home in one piece with no issues with the Humvee. <laughs> These are rifle holders. Rifle holders is for the bottom. This goes up on the top, and it's uh, so the army guys or the butt of the guns. I should right say here. marine guys. They would get mad at me. They can yank their gun out and start shooting somewhere in the ballpark of this. And then you have so you're driving gun. along. And... <laughs> There's a non-runner that I bought off of uh, Gov Planet. Not sure what's wrong with it, so I'm gonna dive in there and start from the front, work my way back until I find out why it won't start. So. 
these guys here, Gov Planet hooked me up. I'm looking for a part for the other Humvee I've got. I just got a connection with a guy that's got it right down the road. Normally 2,000 bucks, 450 bucks from this guy. So I'm going to get it. And it's the rear differential, hard to find. He's got one. So this is uh, stop number one for Humvee parts. You can see all the toys that have found this graveyard. It's all I can afford after getting that home B. Well, we made it back in one piece. Now we have to figure out how to get it off the trailer without a forklift. This should be really interesting. Got any ideas? Not yet. Okay, we're unloading this uh, Humvee. And this is some sketch we're doing right now. Just saying. So we didn't have a winch on our trailer because our old one broke and we just never got around to fixing it yet. So what we did is we took two ratchet straps, attached them to the back of the Humvee and to one of the beams in the hangar and then pulled the trailer out from under it, therefore making it roll off without a winch. So this will be interesting. Keep watching. <laughs> We can bend it up. Can we? Can we bend it up out of the way? Good thing you got two brand new fenders to put on there. You don't have any real suspension on this trailer, do you? Not. Not really. So check these out. I couldn't find these uh, differentials anywhere. And guy right down the street had two of them. Here one. Get the other differential. Hopefully you enjoyed this very, um, very interesting episode of HH Wheels. If you like this video, feel free to leave us a like, comment what you want to see us do next, or if you want to see us get this thing running. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like this guy. And there's one running. Are you going to start running? No, that vehicle was running. Stay tuned for part two, where we see if we can get this thing running.